pretty good iced coffee. Mocha, mocha with sweet white chocolate mocha. All right, it's about time that we get this vacation thing finished up. I, I posted part one already. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. And uh, this one, well, this one's part two. One of the things that I've learned about Florida is the weather can change just in the blink of an eye. You'll be enjoying the sunshine and then out of nowhere it's raining. Are those raindrops? No, they can't be raindrops because it's sunny. Oh no, it's not sunny. It's pouring down rain and I'm freaking out and I can't see the drone and I can't see my screen and, and I gotta land it. like it's changing here. I see blue sky and then like thunderstorm cloud out this window. I'm sure it doesn't look like much, but getting the drone stuck in a rainstorm with that heavy of rain really had me freaking out. My drone is a DJI Mini 2 and according to what I found online, the Mini 2 is not water resistant at all. Like it's not supposed to get wet. After the whole rain ordeal, I decided to take it out the next day and just make sure that the thing still worked. Moved a little this way, a little that way, and it seems to be working fine until... I sent it straight up into a palm tree. And I guess my sister found it to be really funny because, because she got me this shirt. I don't just fly drones, I crashed them too. And I was gonna wear it in this video, but I forgot. I guess the DJI Mini 2 is a lot stronger than I give it credit for because even though the day before it was saturated with rain and this particular day I sent it into a palm tree, it, it still seems to fly just fine. No broken propellers, no damage whatsoever. angle you can see houses there on the right the beaches down kind of towards the top of the screen boats here and then as I pan around to the left you get a nice view of a bridge and all these little waterways and channels and stuff it's a really cool area in Florida we were staying in now Florida will be Florida as we found out from the spontaneous rain but the weather did cooperate some and we had some fun around the pool which I did not film a lot of because you know it's vacation and you know, I was in the pool and the camera don't like to get wet. <laughs> Another time when we were around the pool, the weather decided to just change and a giant wall cloud storm thing came and <laughs> rolled up on us. I guess looking back on it, we did get a pretty good bit of rain, but that's Florida. Now last year we went to Palm Coast, Florida, which is 
uh, kind of closer to St. Augustine, between Daytona and St. Augustine. So we rode up to St. Augustine last year. We did a tour. We did a ghost tour in the evening. Um, a lot of little things there. And we thought it might be fun to go back to St. Augustine this year. I got a sneeze. So we drove an hour and a half from where we were staying back to St. Augustine just to find that the tour that we wanted to do was booked solid and we couldn't really, uh, you know, agree on what to do. So we went through and did the old jail tour, which I had been to the old jail before, but I did not do the tour before. I don't know what it is about the old jail that's pretty cool and my mom and my son went, you know, good little impromptu family visit to a jail. than the old jail tour and getting some pizza at a little pizza place that's really all we did in St. Augustine and we drove the hour and a half you know right back I put together some footage from different beach days again that's something that I did take my drone and get it out here and there and do a couple things because I really like using the drone to get views of things like the beach in general, overhead views of the beach, but I thought it was a lot of fun flying the drone at the beach and being able to see these different angles. Again, you know, I didn't really film a whole lot of what we were doing because I didn't take my GoPro with me and I was playing in the water and doing, you know, family stuff. So it doesn't look like we did a lot, but that's all I filmed. So I did this really stupid thing. I accidentally took my keys to the beach, even though we didn't even drive my car to the beach. And I got into the ocean, waded around. I was about, uh, you know, chest deep, about here. Realized my keys were still in my pocket, which has my key fob on it with a battery. And the, uh, the scat pack doesn't have a regular key. So I'm hoping it didn't kill my key fob because I have to have it to crank my car to get home. So I figured I'd come out here and try it. Okay, the unlock worked. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. It better work. Oh yeah, and if it didn't crank, I don't know how we were gonna get home. <laughs> so, uh, 
I know that I know better. And the weird thing is I took my phone and my wallet out, but yeah, always check your pocket for your keys and other things because I didn't. Okay, so that works. I'm going to turn it off. It's our last night here. We're going to play cards and do some things and uh, then we're headed home tomorrow. So.